What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little bastard of business, a dead meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, an extension of the YouTube channel Dead Meat. I'm James. I'm Chelsea, and we're boyfriend and girlfriend, and we like to get scared together. And joining us today is Lizzie. Hello, it's Liz. Hi. Hi, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Liz is joining us for the third episode of our Paranormal Pool Party. Yeah. I'm so excited. Paranormal Activity is the first scary movie I ever saw. <gasps> I, I snuck in because I was only 16 when it came out. Oh, in the theaters? Yes. Well, is that uh, first one rated R? Yeah. I think they're all rated yeah. R. The for, first one is rated for R? For yeah. Really? It rated was that R. scary? That for spooky. They, you saw those trailers. I just can't believe that's rated R. Yeah. I was wow. terrified. I was actually seeing Toy Story 1 and 2 <laughs> marathon because Toy Story 3 was about to come uh-huh. out. And my friends were like, this is dumb. Let's go see Fernal Wick 2. And I was like too scared. <laughs> and then I saw it and I was like, I like this a lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's that awesome. That. That's a good story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that was the first one? Yeah, it was the first one. Okay. There's kind of some, not toys coming alive in this, but we got some creepy toys in this. We have yes. a Teddy Ruxpin that's yes. like a creepy weird <laughs> red <laughs> herring almost. Yeah. So Paranormal Activity 3 prequel to the story that's been established in one and two well two was a prequel to th- one yeah and now three is a prequel to the two of them mm-hmm. in the 80s yeah I, yeah i love that this takes place in the 80s i'm willing to set aside how much um that the camera quality is not <laughs> consistent at all yeah. with what was commercially good. available so good. yeah i mean i guess they kind of explain it by he it's part of his job but even i know still, yeah, it's no. not going to look like a that. wedding videographer with like a, a consumer grade it's camera it's hd yeah. it's <laughs> i do love but, that for us it's hd and then when they're watching back the footage it's 4 it by 3 like, it looks like shit it's yeah. like a square f- image and they're like is some of it's being cu- uh, cut off and they're like whoa what was that i'm like dude you can't even see the scary shit yeah <laughs> whatever i'm i'm willing to forgive it yeah. and all the kind of goofy it, it is funny they have to in this one write in oh he has to go run out and buy more tapes yeah <laughs> <laughs> this would be a very expensive uh like out of out of the three movies i don't know i don't know if this would be more expensive or the security system that they had installed in that second one probably that security more expensive. system yeah that was pretty but high i end. don't know dennis is blowing through a lot of tapes in this one i know i don't know why he's not recording over the ones that aren't eventful he's yeah. just like keeping a fucking bank of these vhs's yeah, it's weird yeah, yeah they say the tapes only last six hours so i'm like how much it's uh, so how much, much they get like tapes. sleep yeah like, right they only sleep for six hours does it run out in the middle of the night did they miss stuff also there was always the different formats that you could record onto a blank vhs in uh, it was like EP, SP, SLP, and it, depending on which format you chose, it was a quality and time mm. trade-off. And I remember not understanding that when I was little and being like, why would you not just select the one that gave you like 10 hours instead of six hours? Right, yeah. You know? Mm. So all my bootlegged movies were in <laughs> shitty quality. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess to just catch people up, this third movie is Katie... From the first one and her sister Christy from the second one as little kids. Mm-hmm. In and 1988. These mm-hmm. are the events that in the first and second one, they both kind of allude to like creepy shit happening during their childhood. Yeah. Katie talks about that a lot in the first one. And that's kind of what prompts Mika to get the camcorder is that comes up in conversation. And mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's what's going on here. So it's their stepdad, Dennis. That's the Dennis we've been speaking of is the one who decides some weird's going on. I'm going to I'm going to put cameras up all over the house. Yeah. It's interesting. This one's kind of the first one in the series where we have the guy. The guy believes it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought mm-hmm. that, too. I thought that was an interesting little twist but i think it would have been i think it was a good call i think it would have been a little tiresome if it was in yet another movie where yeah. it's like oh man i'm exhausted watching these four women just trying to get someone to believe them yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> it was kind of nice to have it flipped a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah 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 definitely one. yeah I also think that, uh, so dennis is like the step boyfriend i don't think they're yeah married. i don't think they're oh married. that's right mm-hmm. but i 
Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a stepdad figure yeah, in their lives. Sure. The girl, they even say a bunch of times, like the girls love him, and they say they, they say love I him. love you. It's so yeah, cute. It's very he, yeah, cute. I like his relationship. I love with them. Dennis. I think out of all the three dudes in the like Dennis is oh he's, oh, he's for sure the best yeah. yeah definitely and I think it it seems to me like he's a little bit younger than Julie that's the, the mom I I didn't check how old the actors yeah are. I don't well, know the either. actress playing Julie is either 30 or 31 when they made this movie uh, oh, did you check? I did check. Okay. And but the guy, his birthday is online, but the year is not. Ooh. This actor <laughs> is just this I don't know how old he is, and I'm like, "Wow, I'm shocked that uh he kept that information not online mm-hmm. in 2019. I can't find that." Yeah. That's impressive, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh he looks he looks like late 20s to me. I I think it makes sense too to kind of cast him as a younger guy because a big part or like it's a runner of their relationship. It's kind of this underlying tension that he is not an established like breadwinner. Like mm-hmm. he has a yeah. he has a wedding video company, but <laughs> um Julie's the mom's name, right? Yes. Yeah. Julie's mom, so Katie and Christie's grandma is giving Julie grief. Yeah, what's Gra- Grandma? Grandma Lois. Grandma Lois, Lois yeah. yeah. So Lois is like, he's nice, but he doesn't make a ton of money. Yeah, well, fuck you, Lois. You made a deal with the devil. <laughs> yeah. Or a demon. Was she the original one who did I'm the not deal? Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like her and her coven. Okay. But it wasn't like her mom who did it? I. I think it's her because okay. she's like really into it. She's super. She into is it. pretty into it. <laughs> and yeah. I found it interesting that spoiler alert: in the end, Julie, her daughter, is apparently killed. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. she's looking for because I I do love the scene where she's talking to Julie and she's like, I know that you you, you really want a son, right? You yeah. want a bigger Winkling. family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They even could have gone without the son line when she was just like, you always want a bigger family. That was enough for me. Yeah. But they spelled it out a bit. Yep. But yeah, it's interesting that like she she wants this bloodline to continue, and then it's like Julie gets killed. But I don't understand why if she's she's both like. Julie, you've always wanted a boy. You should have a boy, have a baby, and mm-hmm. have it be a boy. Like, she's just, like, hammering that over and over. But then why is she talking shit about this boyfriend? Because, you know, I would think if her end goal is to get a yeah. male, you know, like, oh, great, you're, you're having sex do. with some dude. Great, get yeah. pregnant. It, like, it shouldn't matter to her, I don't think, who the dad is. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So the money, as we have determined, is coming through her and her deal with the demon. That's how they afford this house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I was like, what power are they getting from this deal with the demon? Yeah, because you didn't have a chance to uh, refresh with the second one prior to this. And yeah, in the second one, they spell it out. They're like, oh, there's like a... a Yeah, and the daughter is like, they get some kind of power. I didn't know Mm -hmm. like what Oh yeah, they say like wealth or power. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, so we assume. Yeah, I wonder... Are they that wealthy? I mean, it's a nice house house for a dude with a a video, like videoing Yeah, we have no idea what the mom does. So I think that's maybe important that that's kept from us because we don't have an inscript reason for why their house is so nice yeah. so it's kind of you it makes you think about why mm-hmm. or like how do they afford this and it's because of this curse i'm yeah. thinking now maybe the the lois is so concerned because maybe she's the one who's getting the benefit of the kind of curse and her daughter therefore isn't the one who i think maybe she's giving her daughter money but at this point, she's also like, find a husband who's rich so I don't have to keep supporting you. I don't know. Oh, maybe. I'm inventing my own little <laughs> canon for this to make things make sense that only yeah, I care about. The demon is complaining about him like putting <laughs> yeah, in cameras. And so he's like, get him out of here, Lois. You no, know yeah. maybe because uh, the first time with that we see Christy talking off screen to Toby, uh, which I want to talk about in a second, uh, the fact that he's named Toby. Yeah. She, she's like... She says something like, "Yeah, I do like him." And yeah, like they're talking yeah. about Dennis. So he's so really to- sweet. Is yeah. What she says. So Toby's like, "Are you sure?" Because like he <laughs> oh seems kind of like a deadbeat to me. It's so funny. It's funny that <laughs> Toby can't do anything about Dennis seemingly because mm-hmm. Toby's pretty powerful and Toby is the the demon and all the movies he's yeah the demon that's been he around gets since named. yeah his name's toby now i guess uh which in like 2011 
office running <laughs> strong you know i oh. think that's most people's a uh, go-to oh, association with the name i didn't think i thought of toby my i feel like if you like roots no because <laughs> that's but my also, next association yes, yeah with toby, toby from Root, and also toby from La- the baby from labyrinth i think of oh, oh okay. and yeah, also yeah, yeah. toby from degrassi okay i think yeah, you're, we're going in descending order of relevance. <laughs> Once we're getting into Canadian teenage <laughs> soap operas, then. But. Hey, it's where Drake came from. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, right? Like, don't you think of Toby, what's his name? Flenderson? Toby Flinderson, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, I do. I'm a huge Office fan, so that's immediately what I think of. Right? Yeah. And it's like, it's 2011. That's yeah. season what? Six? Maybe oh, six. I don't know. Season but like, it's years. on the air. Yeah, for sure. It's a popular show. And they're like, yeah, Toby, the guy from HR, is the name of the demon. But what I love is that Toby's a demon, so... I mean, I'm sure, you know, demons have limitations or else it's not a very interesting story. Yeah, if a demon's this demon's limitation all powerful. is that uh, it can't get Pam to like him. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, the fact that he can't really do anything about Dennis and has to resort to kind of being <laughs> passive aggressive about it with Christy. Like, are you sure you like him? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just imagine Toby and Lois just like shooting the shit with each other I mean, like we gotta get rid of that guy god what a fucking loser but do you think that toby is the name of like what he told her his name was or what christy just like made up a name for him that's a good question i don't know i mean i feel like she made it up and then he didn't bother to correct her yeah Yeah, like actually my name is i was gonna say like some sumerian once you know a demon's name like doesn't that like do something or like like it loses it, power. It, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think like maybe I'm making that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Notorious demon Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> he is basically. Uh, oh, and shout out to whoever posted on my subreddit that like the the horror villain who was like naming him Toby really took the wind out of him. That's where I yeah. Like I read that post, I was like, that this person's right, man. <laughs> yeah, when it doesn't have a name, it's a little scarier. Yeah, mm-hmm. now it's Toby. But yeah, Toby's taken kind of a form in this because the whole so mm. the impetus in this movie is sure the guy has cameras already because he like we said he records we- uh, weddings for a living and so yeah he's fucking around with the camera and he's like hey. Let's make a sex tape with yeah. his wife, Julie. And finally, finally three movies in, <laughs> we get the wife to agree Yay! to it. She's like, our, I mean, she's high, which is hilarious yeah. that she's like, it's illegal. Don't record this. Yeah. <laughs> but How times have changed. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, they agree to make a sex tape. But because paranormal activities are not those kinds of movies, it gets interrupted. Yeah, yeah. By an earthquake. I know. I can't tell if the earthquake is legit. It's real because Randy was like, did you feel that earthquake? Or he's like, you got the earthquake on tape? And Randy's oh, like, oh, yeah, cool. you're right. Because at first I was like, oh, it's not an earthquake. It's like demon it's, stuff. It's demon quake. Yeah. <laughs> demon quake, yeah. But, but it's, no, it's real. Good call. Yeah. But then because the camera's set up, we get like dust falling on an invisible so figure. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I loved that. I like this a lot, too. So that's like the most co- corporeal Toby's been in these movies. Yeah. And it's cool because I think this one, they did a good job with something we kind of talked about in the last one where it's got to be hard making prequels to something like paranormal activity because you're then kind of limiting yourself in what your demon can do, especially if it's the same characters. Because if you have a demon in a prequel that is doing all kinds of crazy shit, it makes no sense when you get to like chronologically yeah. the first movie and all of a sudden it's powers like, what did are, he get? it can close a door <laughs> yeah. and it can, you know, it's pretty limited in his old age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got, it's kind of like fucking Yoda and Obi-Wan yeah, for in the sure. prequels. Yoda's for fucking sure. jumping around <laughs> and then in <laughs> empire is like, Rrr. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Blame it on the old age. I right. guess. <laughs> but I think that that's cool that, that this is like a scare that really works around that because this doesn't really depend on, the demon's abilities it's just oh it we have some s- dust fall on yeah where mm-hmm. this demon is and we see that it has a shape and that's such a creative way to kind of work you know it's it's a new scare yeah it's something we haven't seen yet it's not like another door slam mm-hmm. or even though those are great when they're done well but yeah i think that that's cool that they found ways to work around that and it's yeah, tough. that seeing that image on the tape is the impetus for him setting up cameras around the house. As it should night. be, because yeah. what the fuck? <laughs>
One of the things he does, so in the second movie, when it takes place uh, contemporaneously in like 2010 or whatever, they have the technology for all the security footage, which is great. In this one, since it's 88, they don't have that at their fingertips, but we get a fucking awesome setup yes. on the ca- on the, uh, fan, the fan, the oscillating it's fan. the best part. It's like the bedroom shot of the first movie. It's like when that goes, you're like, oh, what's about to happen? Yeah. And you're like looking at everything and like, where is the scary thing? Yeah, the anticipation because it's such a slow moving pan. It goes from the kitchen to like the living room and you see the, the front door in it. And it like pauses at each end for a little mm-hmm. bit and then keeps going. And yeah, two of my favorite scares come from that fan. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what he does, he like takes apart an oscillating fan, like a desk fan that Mm -hmm. moves back and forth. And he takes the fan part off and just puts the camera on top of like the mechanism that goes back and forth. It's real cool. She's like, you broke my fan. Yeah. (laughs) I'll I'll put it back together. It's fine. He's not going to put it back together. (laughs) No. Uh, yeah, so he has that camera, which is, like we said, kitchen and living room, and then he has a second camera up in the loft of the house, which is the girl's bedroom. Yeah. Also, this house is fucking cool. This house is cool. Did mm-hmm. you like it? Yeah, I mean, it seems like that's not supposed to be a bedroom, but, like, that, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I would be very... That's like a, a game room. I would yeah. be very nervous about having a kid's bedroom up there There's for no reasons doors. that happen in... That's true. There are no doors. Yeah. Um... But also because, and this happened even before a little kid in this decided to jump off of the (laughs) edge into the living room or wherever that drops off to. But I'm just sitting there like, your kids are just going to get, like, they're going to break their necks. Like, you know. I mean, that's funny that you're thinking of it from the parent's point of view. Uh, I was still thinking of it from the kid's point of view and how much it would suck to have a room with no walls or doors. Yeah. yeah. So, like, what privacy is that? You Any noise you make is going to be heard by everyone, like, yeah. sitting downstairs in the living room. Yep. Yeah. You, yeah, you would need to install some walls up there. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, they have a weird little tiny door in their room. Tiny doors. Ugh, oh, I hate that. tiny doors. Tiny doors can fuck off. They're I don't so know if weird. it's because of this movie that I hate tiny doors. No, no they're inherently they're All right, all right, yeah. cool. They're, Good yeah. to know. We have one in our basement. I hate it. I actually, I moved into my basement growing up around eighth or ninth grade. Like, I spent high school living in my basement. And it was actually a situation where there wasn't, like, a wall or a door But luckily, the basement's a little more private. But the room I moved into in the basement did have the pantry door in it. And so I had a tiny door in my room. And, like, in there was so gross and just, like, spider-filled. And, like, we kept that door fucking closed. I didn't have any tiny doors. We don't have basements in Texas. So I didn't have a basement either. But yeah. Oh, crazy. No tiny doors. I miss basements, man. I do miss basements. You don't know the the Basement living. Yeah, basement living, High school. I went basement. I visited my friend in Missouri for college, and they had a basement party. And I was like, I've never been in a basement before. Yeah. (laughs) Basement party. (laughs) Dude, yeah, oh yeah, those basement parties. Basement's just where you hang out during the summer because it stays really cold down there. It's nice. Yeah, unless you have too many fucking people out there. And and 20 computers for a land party. (laughs) Then it gets real hot real fast. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Why don't you have basements in Texas? Like the soil, well, in Houston at least, it's like at sea level. So uh, something to do with that, like, Soil. I don't really know. Oh, here weird. in California, there aren't basements, and they. You would think it's because of earthquakes, but I've looked it up. It's not. It's just some bullshit like tradition. You what? can. Yeah, I think you can have basements. It's just nobody does. Oh, weird. And so I want a fucking basement. Yeah. <laughs> Where else do you put a, a drum hole set? In the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, besides that, I, I like this house. It's uh, a little 80s, it's but very 80s. I still think I would prefer to live in it over the other two houses. I think so, too. Even like 80s included. Uh, the their, their room upstairs does have this weird corner fireplace where oh, it's like yeah. not enough of that space and that pillar is being used by the fireplace. It's like a small little corner fireplace and then a giant stone pillar around mm-hmm. it. But like their bathroom that it leads into, it's a weird well, layout. Their bathroom is like nice. It. They have a huge tub. They have yeah. a fireplace upstairs. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like even a little see that. corner fireplace in their Did bedroom. You, what's the thing with like in the, in the fan shot, there's like the toys. I was like, is that a fireplace? They oh, just have yeah. like yeah. stuffed oh, animals cubby? in the toy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like another corner pillar it's like stone I kept and it has a cutaway that. I was like was that supposed to be a fireplace but they just don't use it yeah like right toys in it? I don't know what that is <laughs> oh I forgot he does have a third camera in their bedroom in the, oh yeah 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 that captures some stuff 
Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> the scariest thing to me in scary movies is like creepy children. So oh, like, yeah. this one just... Ugh. Yeah, because like we said, it's about Katie and Christy as kids. Katie's a little bit older. Christy, the younger kid, is creepy as Creepy fuck. Christy. Yeah. Creepy Christy, man. I really, really want to do an episode about creepy kids Ooh, and horror because yes. it's been requested a lot. I get a lot of emails asking for us to do an episode about that, but also because I think the theories behind why kids are so freaky are really interesting. Yeah, why are they scary? Like, I, I want to like, know. Yeah, I give us feel a like, preview. I mean, I again, like, I haven't done any of my homework on this yet, but my kind of theory from, like, a basic understanding of it is that kids are so blank slate and it's freaky. Like, adults, they've, adults have had enough time to mature and adults know the rules right like we know the rules of society and how to operate mm-hmm. and but kids are like kids aren't that yet they're, they're still they're wild yeah, yeah like we can't there's so much less control over kids and probably less rationalization yes. in them too they'll accept yeah. something at face value whereas an adult will like see something and if it's like doesn't adhere to their structured beliefs they'll like try to rationalize yeah, what's going on and like the way kids brains operate is so different than adults adults we all kind of like i think just because of how we're all raised and how we're structured culturally we all kind of arrive at this same point where we're all like you know we have the same no, we don't perceive things the same way but do you know what i mean like to live in a in a society we all kind of have to agree on a certain set of like yeah. reality and like mm-hmm. certain rules and stuff but kids are like their brains are still so weird mm-hmm. and I think there's also the belief that kids are like closer to the supernatural yes. and stuff because they're so young and they just they're came like innocent from, yeah. and like yeah. they say things in a, such a like a matter of fact way mm-hmm. that makes it creepier. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I, I want to do an episode on that for sure. Yeah. When she says, don't sit there, Toby's sitting there. It's like, fuck Argh. that. <laughs> he didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, Christy. I know. I love that. I love Dennis like just going along with that tea party. Yeah, he pats Toby <laughs> on the back, and yeah. dude, I bet Toby is <laughs> gritting his teeth. <laughs> this fucking deadbeat guy. thinks that he can just pat me on the back and I'll be <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, Christy says Toby is old like grandma and tall. tall. And don't call him fat. And don't, don't, <laughs> don't call him fat. He's very self-conscious. He's been dieting. Don't fat Seriously. shame Toby. <laughs> but is he tall? Because... When he's a ghost. When he's a little sheet ghost, he's kind of short. Yeah. Maybe he's tall. I didn't think that was him under Whoa. the sheet. Did you think it was one of the girls? No. I mean, I it's clearly not. Yeah. Like, no, it's nothing just, is just there. But I think... Yeah. He was just like making it that tall. I don't think he yeah, is under the sheet. That's probably fair because we do have it established in the first one that when when we have the baby powder plan. Mm-hmm. Oh, that he can Mika, just because he can it. he just makes footprints, you know. Yeah. And Katie's like, yeah, it's because he wanted to make footprints, mm-hmm. not because he inherently does. I think he's kind of malleable, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, with these movies, you know, the characters are really important because we're sitting there just watching them live their lives. I really like these characters. Uh, Like, Dennis is kind of driving the whole thing, Mm -hmm. and I find him a likable guy. He's got his assistant, Randy. Oh, love Randy. Who's just kind of a doofus, but, yeah, he's I love him. He's he's like a nice doofus. He's not, you know... He he has a few li- at least one line where he's like they're looking at the footage of the babysitter and he's like oh who's that and mm-hmm. Dennis is just like oh I'll put in a good word but he's not like the the annoying over the top yeah. like oh who's that yeah, oh, like, ooga, 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 ooga. yeah. yeah. it's like uh, where was she sleeping you should have put a camera there yeah. <laughs> for me because uh, I mentioned the, in the last paranormal pool party we're going through this series and Final Destination at the same time yes. and we just wrapped up the Final Destination <laughs> movies and all of those except the last one I think have just this annoying oh cock driven guy character Ew. everyone is a sex pest in Final Destination <laughs> yeah. and it sucks it, it just, it's, it's a product of that that Bush era 2000s For, decade oh where just yeah they are just that's the character yep. is every line is about getting laid and yep. it's so funny I'm kind of really jealous of people who weren't teenagers during the Bush years because <laughs> that was like a really dark time in pop culture yeah it sucks to have grown up and it be really, influenced by it you know yeah I yeah. think about that more than maybe I should. <laughs> I think just because we review movies for a living and we're watching, we're so in the world of Final Destination right now that I'm like, fuck. 
<laughs> it was such a gross time. Yeah. But this is like right after that, and don't have that annoying ass yeah. character. Like mm -hmm. all these characters are cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the babysitter, uh, what's her name? Lisa, I think. Lisa. Who yeah. is, uh, she is the production designer's like, oh, we have to make it look 80s? Okay, her. Side pony, Side pony yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the, like the late, the skirt, the like Huge layers. Madonna fan. And the off the shoulder, yeah. like mm -hmm. quarter sleeve. Mm -hmm. Her and, and then Randy, ha oh yeah, like it's Cindy yes. Lauper. Randy has kind of an 80s like denim thing going mm -hmm. on. But she's really like the, this is the 80s. And she comes over just for a night while the parents go out of town, and it's uh, one of my favorite scares, maybe my second mm. favorite, is with the sheet goes. Yes. Because it's got the oscillating fan, and this is such a good setup and payoff with that mechanism. Right. Because you see her in the kitchen after she gives, like, a false jump scare. Yes. Yeah, that actually has got me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and she's like, hi, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got a little crush on Dennis. It's that little hi, Dennis, and the look was, she gives as she walks away from the camera. That These makes me think. These movies are porn sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> look at the sexy babysitter. But yeah, she sits down at a table in the kitchen to start reading a magazine or whatever, and the camera pans to the left, and you see like a sheet ghost standing oh, in the background of the living room. Well, because what is earlier, Lisa was being a sheet ghost. Yeah. She was yeah. telling the kids like a spooky story, mm -hmm. and then she puts on a she and she's like, Oh, look, Dennis, it's the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, come poltergeist me, Dandy. Yeah, Dennis, Dennis, <laughs> Dennis. Uh, the camera pans back to the kitchen where she is, back to the living room. Ghost is gone. Yeah. You're like, Uh oh. Then back to the kitchen, the ghost is standing behind, right behind her. her. And you're like, What's going to happen? And the sheet just falls to the ground. Yeah. It's another thing where I'm not entirely sure how they did it. Yeah, I wonder. I feel like the way they would have had to do these oscillating shots is because it's on like a rig mm -hmm. and the speed is the same mm -hmm. every time. I think it's like separate takes kind of patched together. Yeah, I Maybe. think so too. I don't, I mean, they could have choreographed the it. The ghost, they could have done like a panel rises from the floor with like a dome and then mm. like goes down because the sheet's covering Holy the floor that when would it comes be down. That'd be crazy. That'd be like, oh yeah. That'd be maybe crazy. not like a floor panel, but yeah, maybe some kind of mechanism like sitting on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. maybe. Or oh, maybe they just cut I it see. together. Where it's person shaped mm -hmm. and they, if you like, you know, hit a switch, it just like kind of maybe drops. And my first know. thought was like, it's being strung up from the ceiling, but it's not that because like, it's like a see, perfect circle yeah, almost. It, the, the shape of it is there's something underneath, yeah. not it being held. From well, above. I was thinking just how they have like the actors are like where they need to be like, Oh, there's a ghost here, but now it's over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Either, either they're patching together shots or like, it's probably patching together yeah, shots. Probably. Especially the one where all the stuff falls from the ceiling. Yeah, that's like, my favorite. That's, yes. I think that's a couple shots kind of like put together to and that's have another, it look like the mom is looking at it. Yeah, and that's another daylight sh uh, scare, yeah. mm -hmm. which we talked about last episode of how those are always fun because like it's cool to be scared in the day. Mm -hmm. And when it manages to do it, that one is uh, Julie, the mom, like goes to answer the front door. Of course, no one's there. And then she, she had been in the kitchen and when it oscillates back to the kitchen, Everything is off the shelves. Like everything is table missing. The table's gone. gone. Yeah, the table yeah. is gone. And she that's what threw me is I noticed the table was gone, and then I realized there's nothing in this kitchen. Yeah, just... yeah, because she had been sitting at the table too, so it yeah, sets it, it all up, attention. which is great. Mm -hmm. And she comes back and is just like, "What?" And then it all falls from that's the ceiling. So good. And yeah, like you're watching it, it's an unbroken shot that I'm sure they manipulated somehow in post. Uh, yeah. But the fact that like <laughs> it's it's like the poltergeist thing. Yeah. Because you said this uh, reminded you of poltergeist. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it set does. in the 80s. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got, you know, yeah, it scares like that. Where it's I love the ones from, I, it's, I think it's two, where like the cabinets are all open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. this is like an enhanced version yeah. of that scare, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say it's cool that this like is so, yeah, it reminds me of that scare too. And I think it's neat that they probably looked at that scare and why it was so effective and did something a little different with it. Because it also, again, it like keeps with that, um, it like solves that issue of how do we kind of heighten this movie, even though it's a prequel. So this thing can't be more powerful. Yeah. We have to stay within these confines we've built for ourselves. I think it's smart that they did like another kitchen scare. Cause we know that's what this demon's capable of doing, but it's just a tweaked 
version of that and it works so yeah. well. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, isn't there a similar scare in Poltergeist where she comes back and all the chairs are on the table? All the chairs are, the are stacked up. They're yeah. like in a pyramid. They're like stacked, but yeah. they, they don't fall. But yeah. And, that, and that one was practically done, I know. I think they like glued all the chairs together <laughs> and just like while it was off screen, just like quickly over. put them yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I bet this, uh, I bet if we talked to the filmmakers, they would be like, yeah, Poltergeist was a huge influence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, who made this one? Because it's... Oh, uh, it's, it's uh, we have Ariel Shulman who... <laughs> and Henry Juice. Henry too. Juice. I mean, I think they both did Catfish. Yeah, the documentary. They, these two oh. work together because they did Catfish and they also did that movie Nerve with fucking... Oh, Dave, Emma... Yeah, Emma Roberts, Roberts and, and Dave, Dave Franco. Franco. Oh, where, where it's like, like... Where it's like they are doing... I dare you to do this. Yeah. If you don't do it, then like you... Uh, I don't know. I never watched I it. I don't want to watch, watch that. I, it has people like are like surprisingly good reviews. Live streaming you, you win money if you do. Yeah. It. it sounds kind of Black Mirror ish. It has yeah. like a mm -hmm. sixty some on Rotten Tomatoes. I think I okay. might be wrong, but I kind of want to watch that. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that for an episode because the premise of that is like yes, get, like that sounds like a summer movie. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dumb. I like it. Yeah, but they they also did Catfish, which is the documentary. Um, it, that's such a crazy like. If anything, it would be very cool to be one of these dudes, and you invented a word that people just use now. And yeah. I think, like, I think I'm getting catfished. I think eventually people will. It'll be like, a, oh, did you know that? Catfish comes from this documentary. Kind I think of it's thing. already at that point. I think point. it's get, yeah, yeah. How many people who use that term know there, know was, a there was a documentary mm -hmm. where it originated? Although there is the show now, yeah, yeah. which <laughs> Lizzie and I were just watching the other day when we were at VidCon together. <laughs> an episode involving a ghost. I am yeah. like things like this. I'm like, maybe I should have gone to VidCon because you guys were like in the hotel room watching Catfish. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> I yeah. wouldn't be there. You would have met Becky Lynch. Oh That's my right. Gosh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's all right. Maybe next year. Yeah, Catfish was a weird movie when that came out because the marketing. It was like it looked this like a, a horror, horror movie? movie. What is this? Yeah, do you remember oh, the movie? Yeah, I do. It yeah. was like creepy. Yeah. I didn't see the movie until after the show was out, and I was okay. like, oh, maybe I should check out the original. Like, I like thing. the movie. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, oh, there's what, also that scare. That uh, it's not really a scare. It's like a fake scare, and then a real scare where um, the mom's like in the kitchen and she drops something down the disposal and she like puts her hand down. And I was like, no, oh, no, yeah. no, no. There's <laughs> and then like the light falls. Yeah, and that's it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah, you know what? Speaking of that though, I do feel as though, and maybe it was just because we watched it in the afternoon. I felt less scared by this one mm. than maybe the other two. And I remember previously I had considered this my favorite of the original trilogy. And watching it this time, I still enjoyed it. But uh, we just had uh, Clark Wolf on to defend vigorously the second one. Mm -hmm. And after her, like, diatribe on that movie yeah. and then just, like, the respect I have for the original, this is maybe least favorite. Not as, Ooh, like, interesting. not as, like, a I dislike it. But I just like might like the other ones more. I don't know though. They're mm. they're all pretty they're even. Like, yeah, I, mm -hmm. it's. I think this series is very evenly done. Although this is the last time you get to say yeah, that. <laughs> I, I still I, like I'm I'm watching these as we record these episodes. So at this time, I've not seen the fourth one. I don't know what the fuck that one's even about. <laughs> all I know is that the poster is like a webcam oh. girl, and I don't know how mm. it relates at all. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I forget how it ties into the story. But it's such but... a bummer because now, like, I'm I thinking think back remember. to what Clark was saying last week and how this, she's like, the third one is gonna set up all this lore and it's all this story, and you're gonna you're gonna be all excited at the end, and then the fourth one is gonna drop the ball on all of that and i'm already bummed out because this <laughs> the end of this third one felt like such a cliffhanger i want to know what the fuck's go, like what's going on yeah because we just straight up see that coven with yes. the grandma yeah. it's a good scare when he goes out to like the garage or whatever that and it's like, like oh old lady yeah, yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, oh. <laughs> yeah it turns on the light and they're all up yeah. in the camera just walking slowly towards him and uh, then, yeah, he comes around and Julie is, stand is floating at the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. At first, it looks Ooh. like she's standing there weirdly. It's and then he goes up a few stairs and you see the shadow of her feet there. That's real. Yeah, I liked that a That's lot. That's a good scare, too. So and then good. she like gets thrown and like, falls at him. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, that kills her, that fall. I think she was already dead. Oh. Yeah, I think it was her dead body. She oh. was like covering her neck. She was kind of like the bent neck lady a little bit. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't talk about the bent neck lady. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
That's so scary. <laughs> yeah, I think she's already dead. Okay. The whole the whole coven reminds me of Hereditary. Yeah. A little bit. They even got their little symbol. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The it's symbols that are old under, people behind the paintings. <laughs> yeah. That were hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah Just yeah. like obsession with like this mo one mom's kids. And yeah, I guess they kill her or the demon kills her because she has decided she's not going to have any more children. I think I that's so. it. I think it's and I and think then and then grandma can raise the kids. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and put in is, their heads, have boys. Yeah. This is kind of what I love about the fact that they kill their mom in this is it's this fear because I think this is like a fear to being raised, like being born a girl and being a woman and like. There's like this fear that once you have kids, and it's I mean, maybe less so now, but it's like historically a woman exists to have kids, preferably boys. Mm -hmm. Like this character's outlived her usefulness. Yeah. You know, she's had two girls and she's not going to have any more kids. So get rid of her because she's not kind of a boy. Mm -hmm. But these two younger girls both have the potential to maybe one day have boys. So yeah. we'll keep them around. And it's creepy. We we were talking, Liz, a little bit uh, right before we started filming about at the end there when Dennis is trying to round up the kids to get out of there. Katie's like crying in front of her mom's mm -hmm. dead body and Dennis goes to get her and then she turns around like spooky faces him yeah. and he flies back. I, I don't know if she was possessed or what. I don't know either. Yeah. I, it was like, was that demon face? Was that like bad lighting? I think it was demon <laughs> face. I think it I was think scary. It was demon face. Because yeah. her eyes were like all black. Mm -hmm. I do this. And again, I haven't seen the fourth one or any of the spinoffs. So maybe those answer my questions, but I am having a little bit of trouble piecing together the lore in terms of how, like, I don't know what, like they, so in the second one, they transfer the demon from Christy to Katie. Mm -hmm. I'm just like trying to piece all that together. My head is a little. Yeah. So there, uh, grandma makes deal with demon for power in exchange for the firstborn male heir. Yeah. yeah. No male heirs happen until, uh, Christy, Christy has Hunter. Hunter. Yep, and then so he, I guess the demon starts a knocking and is ready to collect his tax. Yep, and that's the second movie. And then yeah, at the end they find out that they exercise him because he possesses Christy, mm -hmm. and, and she's like, "Don't oh, touch him." That's yeah. right, that's right. And then uh, and then they find a loophole where they can transfer him to a blood, blood relative, relative, and so they do that to Katie. Yeah, which is how we get the first movie. And then she comes back anyways. And uh, takes a baby, right? Oh yeah, and then Katie does. Yeah, and yeah. Come she comes and, and takes. Uh, so I'm just trying to think. I just have like maybe nitpicky questions. Sure. Why wouldn't Christy, if she's already possessed and ha like, why isn't she just getting the fuck out of there with the baby? Yeah, because she could kill the teenage daughter and just yeah, I don't, devil's I don't advocate, know. demon's advocate. Uh, maybe at that point when she's like, you know, in bed and just like kind of uh, dead eyed staring, maybe Christy still strong enough to fight the demon. Yeah, maybe it's you know? not completely possessed her yet. Yeah, because it's it's mm -hmm. a similar situation with Katie at the end of the first one. Mm -hmm. It's when she's laying in bed and is just like, I want to stay here, stay mm -hmm. here with me. And so, yeah, maybe at oh, those points in times, the the soul of the, the sure. women are still able to, like, fend off the demon's attempt to just, like, hijack the body completely, grab that little baby boy and get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe. I don't know. And then I'm just trying to, like, uh, I don't know. I think maybe I need more time to sit with, like, I need to think about all three of these and think about how they connect to each other because I'm just trying to make the logic of this kind of curse make sense in my head. Yeah, one thing I don't really quite understand is, like, why it's so attached to Christy and, like, it's kind of mean to Katie. Like, it pulls her hair. It's, like, yeah. yoink. Oh, yeah. And it, like, tries yeah. to pull her into the closet. That, too, especially since... And the blood Ma Bloody Mary thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is a great scene. It's uh, Katie and Randy yeah. Yeah. In, the, in the bathroom. bathroom. And, yeah, they do Bloody Mary and then there's just shit outside the he door. He gets yeah. scratched. Yeah, he gets mm -hmm. scratched. Like, yeah, why... Yeah, th Ma that was another issue, or not issue, but just question I had. Maybe because Katie She's is younger? old enough and is like questioning it and telling Christy, like, stop, like, only babies have only imaginary babies. friends. Yeah. But then, you know? so did the demon try and do the same thing with Katie first as a kid mm. and then oh, moved on maybe. to Christy? So these are like the weird. <laughs> these are, and so then it's weird that Katie is then our basically main character. Like, she's the main character in the first one. Mm -hmm. Right. And it, 
the way that the first one is set up is you get the sense that the demon it has always been after Katie and that the sister was maybe there to witness it and was scared by that's it. true it that might just be a fact of like it, that that one was first yeah because yeah. that first one you i at least really get the impression that the demon like wants katie yeah yeah Before but i guess we're factoring in like it wants a firstborn son and mm-hmm. right stuff. but i guess that's like maybe the demon knows that christy's the one that's going to have the son so he's attached to her and then they you know, exercise it, send it to Katie. That's why it's so fixed on her on the first one. But also, yeah. Yeah, it's... It's a lot of explaining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's just retconning. I'm yeah. sure someone has made sense of this somewhere <laughs> and can help explain. And we do get Katie in this... Katie Featherston in this movie in mm. the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, some, yeah. A little bit there, of new footage of her it, yeah. dropping off some tapes. She's moving in, about to move in with... Um, with Mika. Mika. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I love that just little bit of uh, just that continuity, like, paste... Put, slap it on there and like make sure these are a solid foundation. They're like making the nursery for the boy. She's pregnant. Yeah, Christy is. And then they mix f- actual footage from the second movie with the uh, the ransacking of the house with just I think one new shot yeah, when they're in the funny. basement and he's like, the only thing missing from the basement are those tapes that yeah. Katie just Eight. gave us in, uh, two minutes ago in that new footage. It's so funny though because in that second movie, the only thing that went missing was a necklace, and that's like never brought up again. That's right. It's a, yeah, it was a necklace that Katie gave Christy. And so you would think it's, it's just funny. I, like, I understand because they had to add it for this next movie, but I think it's so funny that they didn't bother to mention these tapes that went missing. But then yeah, in the third movie, movie, it's like, by the way, these tapes went missing. <laughs> I, and again, I know it's because that was a new. And I don't know if the necklace comes up in the fourth one or not. Like, how long has it been since you've seen the fourth one? Since it came out? Long time. Yeah. yeah. Me too. So Necklace? I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't right? remember. Right? It's just like one yeah, throwaway like line in the, the second one. the symbol of the coven or something? I don't know. Oh, all right. I just think Katie <laughs> likes making necklaces. For oh, yeah. Also, I wrote down beads because in the first movie, you guys are like bead time yeah she's like when the babysitter gets there katie's like let me show you my beads oh, oh i missed that line <laughs> really yeah. dude that's a childhood fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that totally like went like flew right past me but i'm so happy you pointed that yes. out that katie just fucking loves beads she's like lisa let me show you my new beads oh, oh i didn't best. catch that line that's so great yeah. that she's been fucking into she bead time beads. since a kid there's oh my gosh there's like bead time in all these movies Bees? pretty much. Beads? <laughs> we'll see who brings home more honey. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. I Just, love that I, like, this character is so, like, things I know about this character. Likes. Beads. <laughs> Dislikes. Demons. Demons. <laughs> and boyfriend trying to make a sex tape with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got, like, that symbol. It's the triangle with the circle. That's all new. And it's got, like, letters on it. And I was trying to... It kind of looks like the Deathly Hallows. It he does. Thought, I thought of I was like, oh. It definitely does. It's got, it's got a C, C, an L, and an M. Uh-huh. And I was trying to kind of... I was like, I wonder what those letters are. It could be Lois. But I, I wish it just said... Toby. Toby. <laughs> Toby was he Which apparently, why? according to like the Wikipedia article, is spelled with an I. It's yeah. no, I. Fuck that. Toby. Toby. My Toby. subtitles were wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah right? Our, so are ours, Ours apparently. definitely said why. But ours would also just like mix multiple characters' dialogue on the same line. It would be like, mm-hmm. hey, what? I, like, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, like, how is a person who I can't know. hear supposed to decipher this? Yeah. Come on. But yeah, they they find that symbol in the little creepy room upstairs, yeah. which is good. And then it's behind the paintings in Grandma's house. Yeah. So and yeah. I yeah, I love that. I think it's that same scene where Teddy Rockspin ends up in front of the camera, and it's I'm just expecting that thing to start talking. It's this I know. creepy close angle. Yes. Those bears are scary. And They're then the creepy. mom comes later. I don't know if it's after that, but she's like, "Were you talking to Toby?" Blah 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 blah. blah. And then the the um, Christy's like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. Well, why don't you ask him? He's standing right next to you. Oh, yeah. And she's like, what? <laughs> I know. Fucking oh, creepy yeah. Because then she runs into him. Oh, Katie, I, Katie runs, runs into, into him, him when him. she's chasing I, she's him. She's trying That's to get Christy. Love. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, it's Katie. I love that scare That's so really much. good. It's yep. so weird. Also, just that's good... right before he, like, yoinks her. I love the Christy scare when it's the oscillating fan and it goes in the kitchen. She's just standing, standing on the Standing on counter. the table. Oh, God. Christy's yeah. so goddamn creepy. And she's got the weird little nightgown on. And yeah. she's like, <laughs> yeah. like, chasing him around. Giggling. yeah. Oh, and she stands in the parents' bedroom door just staring at them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for an hour. Yeah, hours as it does the fast motion. 
in yep. is our like one or two fast motions thing. I mm-hmm. love that. You know, they use that a lot in the first one out of necessity. And then the sequels, they just, you know, just drip it in a little bit, just like once or twice. Yeah. Just be like, it was a hit. Remember how creepy this was? Yeah. Here it is again. <laughs> there was, when she is like in the parents' doorway and when she like, she runs past it a bunch, which yeah. I hate. Yes. <laughs> but I couldn't. And I think it's it's the mirror in the hallway, but there were a few times where she walks past their room and it looks like there's something with her. It could just be her reflection in that. I know there's you, a big circle mirror. And I noticed it a couple times. Yeah, you saw you it twice. Did. I didn't see anything. But so I, I, maybe it was I just mean, I'll reflection. look at it while I'm editing. It might just be her reflection, but it's weird that it wouldn't be consistent every time i don't know something is weird about it i didn't it. notice that either i noticed she like comes into the door and then like goes back out and like continues to chase him i never saw that but i did see like when they're doing bloody mary before they shut the door and it's like rattly you see like a black yeah it's oh, like a yeah. shadow just like yeah boom. yeah that's oh, really man. good bloody and the Mary's high pitched so noise yeah. every time toby would was like about to appear yeah i was like oh <laughs> yeah these are great for sound design i, I love it yeah i love that they had characters playing bloody mary though because like that's it's weird how every kid knows that. yeah like, I, I was so scared of it as a kid around? oh i never did it i was i i, I don't think, think i ever did, did it as a kid i did it like uh a year ago maybe i was in the back i <laughs> i made chelsea do it and she like, didn't dude, like it i didn't want i was like i hate this i think it's I think it's just I think it was after we watched Candyman. It was after we watched Candyman. Yeah, because yeah. Candyman is like a Bloody Mary. Thing. Yeah, you say it five times. Let it get yeah, Candyman Candy oh. gives you more more yeah. of a chance to bail out. Yeah, well, <laughs> but Bloody Mary is just one of those things where, like, as a kid, the idea of that scared me. And I don't know what was your version of it. I'm curious because mine, growing up, was like her her ghost would appear, but she would take your reflections place Ooh. that was like what i grew up with <laughs> it's like your fate you like you would morph into her Ooh, and then she'd come out great. and kill you which I, is fucking terrifying uh, i don't remember and the I, details yeah of the i feel like there was something about you had to turn around Ooh. or you like i don't remember that would be so uh, creepy your you, eyes you say it in the mirror and then turn around or close yeah that'd be it was great. something like that i yeah. never did it mm-hmm. so because because mirrors are creepy to begin with yeah. mirrors in the dark are creepy yes yeah I just wonder, like, where the fuck that came from? Because Bloody Mary is... A drink. Well, it's a drink. (laughs) But that's also Queen Elizabeth's older sister. That's Henry VIII's daughter who Mm -hmm. went on a fucking... Like, she was hyper-Catholic and went on uh, after... Because she was the daughter of his first marriage and therefore basically became illegitimate after he was like psych Psych, i'm leaving the catholic church (laughs) and i'm creating this new one fuck you oldest daughter so then she became queen and was like fuck that shit we're catholic again and then just killed all the protestants and that's why she was called bloody mary but it's weird yeah that she's this like I just wonder where, like, when did that happen? Like, <laughs> yeah, why did he like just a... start doing that? I don't yeah, know. no clue. I don't know. Yeah, I like the idea though. This like, <laughs> this like Tudor era queen, like <laughs> going out of your bathroom mirror, <laughs> coming to get you. Like, what's that thing you you're holding there, Randy? <laughs> like giant video camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like whoa, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I still to this day. Yeah, you got me to do it like last year, and I hated. You didn't like I it. hated it. it. It's just it's so. We never scare each other. And no, we don't like that. Yeah, because no, that's, that's not, not what fun. we're into. We're not trying to ever scare each other. Because that's to me like a violation of trust a little bit. I like to feel secure at home. Mm-hmm. I don't like to live my life feeling like something's gonna jump out at me. Yeah, my so siblings we... would always scare me oh, as man. a child. All <laughs> ways. I can't. No. I do remember one time my sister got me good. We were left home alone frequently at a very young age. Uh, just both parents had to work. But I remember one time uh, I was like watching TV in the living room and down the hall, my parents' bedroom door was just closing and opening, closing. Oh, and I no. saw that and I fucking ran out of the house down the street to my friend's house. And it, it was just Janelle behind the door oh, doing no. that. But it scared the shit out of me. 
jail. Oh, oh, you man. got me. I think of it all the time. Wow. I mean, I did the That's psychological. Yeah. Right? My siblings would just like jump out at me, <laughs> like from like around the corner, and I'd be like, oh. I mean, I did the classic, and there's like a video. I think a video of someone doing this went viral, and I was like, oh, that's fun. I did this like as a kid, going down to the circuit breaker and like turning lights on and off because like my sister and friends were fucking around with a Ouija. Oh board, yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah that's so good. Yeah. Oh yeah, the video, and you just hear the scream. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's such. I was like, oh, that's a that old chestnut. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, mm-hmm. that's basically what these movies are, uh, or yeah, those kinds much. of stares. Which like. is like why I think also they really resonate. Is those are the things that when you are either home alone mm-hmm. or you're scared of your basement. Those mm-hmm. are like the ideas that like, those are the things that are freaky. Like yeah. you just write it off and you're like, Oh, it's nothing. Yeah. But like what if it was something mm-hmm. those, like these are all, I mean, some of these are obviously fantastical, like all of your kitchen, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> falling from the, but like doors opening and closing where it's things that or like things sway. They have mm-hmm. an explanation, but what if it's a ghost? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. all very classical ghost imagery. It's all the stuff that, yeah, like you said, when you're either you're a kid or you're home alone it, that your imagination yeah. just seizes upon and yes. it's like wouldn't that be scary if that was a ghost yeah <laughs> and I was raised in the church so when the first movie came out even I was I was 16 but I, like so still kind of old for a child but like still young enough and I was like I thought demons were real. Yeah. So what's I saw nomination? Yeah, Church of Christ. Oh, oh shit. What's yeah, that? What's that it's like, like uh, Christian, uh, <laughs> Texas. I don't know. It's not, <laughs> okay. not Baptist. It, they're very like, we are the only right one. Oh, well, shit. they're all like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a big? Is it big? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Church Maybe. of Christ? Yeah, that's what it was I've called. heard of them, but I feel like at one point I tried to learn all the oh, Protestant branches. There's so there's, fucking there's many. Too damn, there's even a bunch of Catholic branches. Well, yeah. you got the, different Catholics. Isn't Wait. there the Eastern, uh, or that's Orthodox? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, I, church of Christ, that's all I know. And like we couldn't have instruments in church. It was like wow. one of those kinds of things. Like, what? Um, Not even like the acoustic organ? Acoustic only. No. What? Only hymns. Wow. Acapella, yes. Wow. Because that's what, what Jesus wants. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> not, <yeah. laughs> Jesus was very against string instruments. Yeah. You're not like holding the snakes and stuff though, right? Snakes? Oh, okay. You no, know. I don't hey, know what man, that some is. Some of them got snakes, dude. Yeah, dude. There's like some denominations where they're like you're holding snakes and, no well, like, not the Qua- quakers are pretty chill <laughs> <laughs> Quake, hey, quakers fought for like civil rights and shit during oh, the, are, like, thanks, you know what? They, they were helping with the underground railroad we'll give oh, them a cool. pass but um no I, there's some denominations of christianity like there's some churches where it's like god will keep you safe from the snake biting you i think is the logic so you hold the fucking snakes. oh yeah is no. that like a mega church i don't know what no i think this is like it's just like a s- <laughs> there's a movie come there's like i don't know if it's a horror movie or what but olivia coleman's in it It looks Ooh. fucking weird about yeah. sign me up yeah. but i like fully believed in demons so this yeah. these movies really scared me and Dang. i like yeah. thought that like satan lived under my bed and stuff like that oh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Catholic, like, yeah. like we have demons. Race Catholic, we had some shit. We had <laughs> demons and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this, yeah, this kind of stuff really was freaky. Luckily, I mean, we were the type of family growing up though, where like I was allowed to have Ouija boards and stuff. I don't know if you were. Oh, or, my mom oh, no. would not have allowed wow. that. Yeah, no way. Interesting. Mm-hmm. My mom, like, she was not a fan of my horror movie. The, the, oh, wow. the negative energy I was bringing into the house, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Yeah, it's she not. was not a fan. <laughs> I think I, in, like out of our family, I think I would have been the one most scared of that stuff because I was just a scaredy cat. <laughs> I at least wasn't blocked from Harry Potter, so okay. I, I had that. <laughs> yeah, right. Can you imagine? I have like, who a would you of... even be today? <laughs> I don't know. I I have no clue. <laughs> uh, yeah, this movie, by the way, did set uh, what like a midnight ticket sales record. It, it made a lot of money. Uh, it set a record for midnight opening for a horror film and the best opening day for a horror film. Is that from Wikipedia? It is. Okay. I'm reading the top of the Wikipedia. So, uh, yeah, that was 2011 when it made. Yeah. Again, that's why I'm not surprised that they're making more of them because why wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are they still? To There's going to be a new one. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Budget five million. Box office two. Yeah, exactly. Million. Like because they are so they're next to nothing. To five make. million's even a lot for one of these. Yeah, I, I think it probably a lot of digital effects with all those scares mm-hmm. that we were talking mm-hmm. about. How the fuck they did them? Yep, had mm-hmm. to have been that stuff because it's not fucking. Do the they actors factor or... into budget 
like do they factor advertising or is that a separate it's thing? It's so hard to believe any budget number because of the bullshit accounting in Hollywood and how no movie yeah. makes money and shit like that. So I'm always wary of budget numbers to begin with. I don't know if it includes advertising, marketing, which I still don't know the difference between advertising and marketing. I've had it explained to me several times. There's a difference. There's a di- there's <laughs> a stark difference between people whose job is advertising and marketing. Oh yeah, I guess I can see that. I, you know, it's I been explained no to me. Idea. I always forget. Comments, let us know, please. <laughs> I have no, I don't think I'd be able to. Advertising maybe, clearly includes stuff like trailers and posters, I think maybe right? marketing. No, I would say that's marketing. She, see? Oh, I no, I would say that was. Oh, I but, guess marketing is. Because my guess is if you're in yeah. marketing, you're like, you know how to advertise things. Like you're, if you're in marketing, you're like, okay, we're coming up with a strategy. This is our research, blah, blah. And then you pass on your marketing research to the advertisers who maybe. then make the things. And maybe, maybe marketing is more involved with like demographics and like targeting audiences and stuff like that. And yeah. then the advertising is the creative like, uh, fulfillment I think, of things. So I'm just thinking in Mad Men, like I feel like they have marketing people come in to explain like, like our legs pantyhose is oh you know women what? of this yeah. age like it and blah blah but also i'm thinking of it from like social media marketing because of my job and it's That's like true. we we do all that stuff we like so, I mean, create new and media like strategize. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's the wild west now. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I I like this movie. I'm both excited and sad to watch the next one because I know it's just gonna make me upset. Mm-hmm. But so far. Have you been a yeah, fan of this trilogy? Yeah, like they're all very even, which is hard to do. Like getting into a third movie, it's it's impressive to me, especially since we don't have the same people doing every movie. That's true. I think it's really. Although this one was written by Christopher Landon. That's true. Who did two? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like like his stuff a lot. But uh, yeah, I think that that's something in in and of itself is that we have three movies that are like yeah, pretty. If, if you told me they were all made by the same person, I would accept that 100%. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I wonder if it helps, too, because it's got to be one of those things where I always think of TV series where they bring on, like, a director for one episode. And at some point, some series have been around for so long and where the actors maybe almost direct themselves. Like, I can't even imagine trying to jump into one of these and directing like Katie and Mika and it's like they know what they're fucking doing. you don't need to direct them you tell yeah. them where to stand and like that's it you know I know I hope Katie's in the fourth one I forget I have no I, idea. I think a little bit I think she's a little, a little bit I think she yeah. yeah I think <laughs> yeah so I'm, I'm that could be part of it too is that the story's so consistent that maybe it's I don't know maybe it kind of falls together pretty nicely mm-hmm. I don't know cool Paranormal Activity 3. Yeah. Fun movie. Yes. I think it's my second favorite. I think I like the first one the best, mm-hmm. and then the third one, and then the second one, and then the rest, I don't count. Yeah. <laughs> I right. haven't seen them in so long to rank them, yeah. so. I'm, I'm, I am excited to watch the fourth, and like, yeah. I almost hope it's like train wreck bad. Oh, man. Yeah. Just sometimes, so we can shit on it. Sometimes that's Sometimes that's fun. what you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I, yeah, I think maybe that is another <laughs> issue with a series for the podcast being so evenly paced, is it's like, what are, what else are we gonna say at yeah. a point? Yeah, you know? <laughs> especially when we spend so much of these podcasts talking about the technique of them, and so when that doesn't change a lot, it's like, oh fuck, what else are we? <laughs> it's not like the stories are, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> we're not like doing character work and stuff. So is the fourth one the last one? Because I saw I saw the marked ones in theater. Marked <laughs> ones is a separate thing, yeah, but different. we just learned from Clark last week that the fifth one, the ghost dimension, is the fourth part of the se- or the f- I'm sorry marked fifth. ones would be the fifth one yeah so the sixth movie the ghost dimension is the fifth part to this story I never saw that four. one me neither yeah so I need to see it so, we're definitely gonna have to watch technically it technically in the canon yeah, yeah. like so, it's in oh, maybe we'll have you over when we finally watch yeah. it when yeah we're done yeah with we these. should watch it together yeah I heard to not get our hopes up all right yeah. well <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Lizzie, thank you so much for yeah, joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. Where should fun. where should people stalk you online? Uh, you can find me at Soundproof Liz, all one word, everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Soundproof Liz. 
dope. She was also did a commentary track with us, right? What movie? Oh, was the this Slime Bowl or Sorority Rama. Babe? Yeah, where we kept promising you that you would see Linnea Quigley's breasts. And they never they happened. They never happened. happened. Just everyone else's breasts in that movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, if you're a patron at the $3 or up level, you can listen to that commentary track. It was a fun one. No subtitles on that movie. It nope. sucks. Yep. That sucks, especially since you're soundproof, Liz, because you're <laughs> yeah. deaf in one ear. I'm deaf in my right ear. I also realize, and you're, oh man, we put you on so yeah. the wrong side. Yeah, you did. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. It's okay, I have to turn to see you anyway, so it's just sure, like yeah. listening. <laughs> Our bad. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't want to mess up the groove. Oh man. I always like, I yeah, where's your tattoo? Here, this one. That's right, see? Yeah, just I love a little that test, tattoo. So we know which ear it is. Man, we fucked up. <laughs> fucked up bad. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you can follow Dead Meat on social media at Dead Meat James on Twitter and Instagram. I've been using those more often, especially the Instagram. Been posting more. Yeah. I mean, half of them is wrestling stuff, but still, check it out. <laughs> I'm at Carebeck, C-R-E-B-E-C-C, on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want merch, store.com. We're currently, um, we're like migrating our merch to Teespring. So it's, if you go to demeatstore.com, a lot of stuff is sold out. And that's because I'm like moving inventory around. So eventually that URL will redirect to a store that has everything. And it's just taking a minute because we're traveling a lot right now. We're in the middle of a crazy uh, travel period. But we are working on a new merch thing. Yeah. That I think a lot of you will be excited about. Yeah. It's can I'm, we, can we yeah, tease can it? Yeah. It it's uh Chelsea's designing merch of around slow ass motherfucking Jeff. Yeah. So <laughs> when we were at RTX, so many people love You guys I, like, love I didn't Jeff. People love Jeff so much. And I was like, Well, we gotta do something. So I have an idea and I did a mock up that I'm very happy with. I mm-hmm. need to get some feedback on it, but keep an eye out. I love that. that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be back next week with, I guess, our last paranormal pool party, even though this has a, another movie. Whatever. We'll figure <laughs> it out. Okay, yeah. Just fucking, we'll be back next week. Uh, but until then, I'm James. I'm Chelsea. That was Lizzie. That was Liz. And this has been the Deadbeat Podcast. Ooh.